today, you will learn what Donald Trump and I were taught and what the rich are taught, which is not taught in school. So I ask you, please keep an open mind because some of the things you will hear today will sound insane, crazy. So if you read Rich Dad, Poor Dad, what was lesson number one? Lesson number one was don't work for money. Do not work for money. Lesson number one, okay? And some, most people go, but I have to have a job. I have to have money. That's the first thing. So I want you to be aware of that because I don't work for our money. I don't have a paycheck. That's why I'm rich. And our schools teach you to work for money, to be employee, or a doctor, or lawyer. Rich Dad taught me to be entrepreneur. So you're gonna find out today there's rich entrepreneurs and poor entrepreneurs. Most entrepreneurs are poor. Again, because of no financial education. All right? So please keep an open mind today because I'm gonna say things that may not make sense. I don't want a paycheck. I don't need a paycheck. If you can not need a paycheck, you have a better chance of getting rich. I studied from my rich dad. And what you'll learn today is some of the things my rich dad taught me. And uh, when I came back from Vietnam, I was a pilot in Vietnam. Padre Pobre said become a pilot, but that would be an employee. Okay. So rich dad said, don't be like your Padre Pobre become an entrepreneur. So that's why I don't need money. And that's, so I was 25 at the time. And I had to make a decision, was I gonna listen to Padre Pobre and go fly for the airlines? Or was I gonna be an entrepreneur, not need a paycheck? <coughs> okay, that was a choice. And my Padre Pobre wanted me to go back to university get my master's degree and my PhD. And my father was unemployed with his PhD. <laughs> He's trying to tell me, go get my PhD. I said, PhD stands for poor, helpless, desperate. So I didn't go back to get my master's or my PhD. Instead, I took a three-day real estate course because Rich Dad said, real estate is wealth. Those that control the real estate control the world. And you will find that today. So I do not, you know, most people invest in the stock market. I don't invest in the stock market. I also don't pay taxes, and I don't use my own money. Why? Real estate. So I'm not saying you should invest in real estate, but if you understand the word real estate from Espanol, real estate is real, royal estate. Royal estate. That's why the rich invest in real estate, okay? Royal, even today. Even in cyberspace, it's called intellectual property, real estate, all right? So it's very, very different. The word education, there is no financial education in school. The reason there's no financial education is it goes to this here. Padre Rico said there's four types of people in business, in the world, anywhere. Spain, US, China, Japan. There are employees. 
employees have a mindset. Employees all over the world say the same thing in their head. I want a safe, secure job with a paycheck and benefits and a pension. They all say the same things. Japanese, Espanol, American, Filipino. And this is small entrepreneur, small business, or a specialist like a doctor, lawyer, attorney, real estate agent, massage therapist, web designer. S means small, self-employed. These people violate Rich Dad's lesson number one. They work for money. These are the people that pay the taxes. That's why you don't work for money. Okay? These people don't pay taxes. In your country, in my country, it's the same. How many people know the rich don't pay taxes here? Good. Today, you will find out why and how they don't pay taxes. Donald Trump doesn't pay taxes. Why? Real estate. Royal estate. Real. Okay. And these people are big business. So this would be like I own a clothing store in downtown Barcelona or Madrid. This is Zara. Different mindset. This is a person with a small restaurant. This is McDonald's. This is a small person with a coffee shop. This is Starbucks. So today, the reason you want financial education is without financial education, you can't come over here. So today I'll be giving a little bit. I uh, encourage you to keep learning, keep learning more because today the world's changing very fast. And those who are not studying are falling behind, right? This is called the Cone of Learning. It was written by a man, created by an educational psychologist named Edgar Dale. In 1969, Dale wanted to find out how you and I learn. How do we, as human beings, learn? And what Dale found out, if you look here, the worst way to learn is via reading. Rich Dad would break out the Monopoly board game and we'd play Monopoly. So for months, we'd just play Monopoly, having a good time. And finally, I started to see it. I said, four greenhouses, one red hotel. I said, is that the secret? He goes, yes. And then all of a sudden, the head goes, because Rich Dad used to take me, because he was not rich man yet, but he had a lot of green houses, a lot of houses. And he said to me, someday these green houses would be a big red hotel. So I was nine years old. When I was 19, I went to school in New York. <coughs> when I was 19, I came home from school in New York, and Rich Dad owned the big red hotel <coughs> right on Waikiki Beach. He had gone from poor man to a very rich man in Hawaii in 10 years. That hotel just sold last year. He paid 1.2 million for it. It was a lot of money back in 1968. He just sold it for $800 million. Tax free. <laughs>